Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love muppets? This is Mama Love, and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a Thanksgiving meal. Vegan Thanksgiving meal. And it may be a little late, but that's okay. Christmas still come up, and people still want um, dressing and mac and cheese for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But I had a lot of things that was going on with me, um, and I could not get to the Thanksgiving uh, meal as I should have for the vegan. I know it's still popping on the one that I made two years ago. Um, I appreciate you all for still referring back to that recipe. Uh, if y'all do do not know, it is. Uh, homemade uh, chicken and dressing pay attention queen that video right there um, every year everybody comes back and view that video and uh, I always get a lot of good feedback about that video I thought about it even I said well I'm gonna put, I should put this in a little recipe book but I am going to be making a dressing but everything is going to be different this round um, because of health matters and issues and I, I just feel like I still can do this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. Okay. So we're not gonna pay no attention to this right now because that's the mac and cheese. But um, my dressing. My dressing is still going to consist of the vegetables I always use. I always use, um, let me see, I use onions and I use garlic and I use, well this time I'm gonna use a little bell pepper. This time I usually normally don't use bell pepper, but I'm going to be using those vegetables along with my onion uh, soup mix I always use. Only thing is different about the stove top I'm adding is only cornbread only. It's just cornbread you all. It's not the chicken or the turkey flavor. Um, I am replacing uh, chicken broth with vegetable broth, okay? It's not gonna be cream of chicken. It's gonna be cream of mushroom and cream of celery, okay? And uh, you know, my cornmeal is going to be made up instead of the, the egg is going to be made up with the flaxseed and the water replacing the egg. Instead of regular milk, I'm going to be using unsweet almond milk. Yeah. So y'all stay tuned while I put this down in the kitchen because it's going to happen, okay? And so over here for my um, mac and cheese, I'm going to be following Tabitha Brown's recipe, of course. So we have the Bonza chickpea noodles. I got my nutritional yeast. I got my unsweetened cashew uh, milk yogurt. Yes, throw those. And I have my Daya cheddar style cheese and Monterey Jack. Okay, and I have my earth balanced uh, butter, vegan butter. And over here in this pot is butternut squash and one potato that is for my uh, mac and cheese and it's going to be part of the cheese sauce. These are all my seasonings that I'm using, my poetry seasoning, celery salt, I'm gonna use a little bit of that. I got ground sage, I got onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and my 24 herbs and spices with no salt. So this is what I'm gonna be using you all. I want you all to Stay tuned as it goes down because it's about to happen. All right. Okay, you all. So I'm going to be making the cornbread first because that's what I want in the oven. Okay, so the cornbread, um, it causes for um, one cup of cornmeal. So I went out and got me some measuring spoons, y'all. I finally did it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be using my cornmeal. I am using Aunt Jemima. My cup measure. I'm trying to measure. Gotta measure. Gotta measure. Get the measure. Get the measure. Okay, I'm pouring that over in there. Then I'm going to use. I'm not using a half a tablespoon of salt. I'm not doing all that stuff. Okay, <laughs> I don't feel like I need to. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do it. And so here goes my milk. We just, y'all, we just replaced, and I'm gonna use. One cup of milk. I'm using almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. I'm pouring that over in there, you all. Okay. And then it calls for four 
tablespoons. I'm not gonna put sugar in there. I don't feel like I need to. But four teaspoons of uh, baking powder. Four teaspoons of baking powder, you all. One, two, I need to level that off. Three, four, four. Okay, and then it causes for um, one fourth a cup of oil. I am going to be using my avocado oil instead of vegetable oil. I'm going to get me some grapeseed oil too because I heard that was good. Also, um, I saw how they uh, fried with it. Um, and it fries pretty good. I don't know how, you know, this avocado oil, you know, fries or whatever. But, okay, and so my egg replacement, you all, I am going to be using it calls for one tablespoon I'm going to flex these at. Here they go. One tablespoon of uh, flaxseed. This is my egg replacement. I don't believe that this cornbread is going to taste any different from, you know, the regular cornbread that I make up. However, you know we're just using this cornbread just for the, uh, you know, stuffing. There's the one tablespoon of flaxseed. Three tablespoons of water, which makes up one egg. Okay. Now, if I, you know me, I double stuff, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Um, I'm gonna let my cornbread, cornmeal, uh, cornbread box of stovetop stuffing help me out this round, really lean on it, because we are going out Thanksgiving. We are invited out a couple of places, and so that's what we're doing. And y'all, the kids said they are not too fond of my vegan Thanksgiving. But however, y'all know that sometimes you gotta be a little selfish when it comes to your health, okay? Because I've been uh, looking out for a long time. So what I did was um, I got the egg in, I got the milk, let me see. I didn't put no salt and sugar in it. I don't care, I'm not gonna use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. Stop looking at this batter, this batter bowl. You all need to be looking at them. I'm gonna let y'all see it. Okay, so this is how it looked, the cornmeal, uh, cornbread uh, I made up. As you all know, I'm doubling this because I don't like it. Uh, oh, hand me my um, almond flour up there. I'm sorry. It's up in a vegan cabinet. I forgot to add I'm gonna add some almond flour and it causes for one cup. This is the almond flour. I'm gonna be putting one cup in here, adding one cup to this, okay? It's no different, you all. That's the way I look at it. I'm not gonna let this intimidate me. Okay, I can do this. I'm gonna do it, okay? So, let me put this here. And I'm gonna get that in there like that and I'm gonna level it off. I think I'm bad, y'all. I went out and got me some. Measurers, okay? I'm serious about this thing. The only reason why I got measurers, you all, because I know what I'm doing in the kitchen. But vegan is a little bit different. This is all brand new to me, and I do want to use measurements until I get it down pat, you know. It made that a little thicker, didn't it? Mm-hmm. That's all right. I'm gonna add to it. Now here I go add my own. See, because I'm making cornbread, right? And I know how cornbread is supposed to. So I'm gonna put a little bit. There I go, not measuring. But I think I got at least this part, you know. I know how I want my cornbread batter to be. Okay. And that's how I want it to be. I want to make sure all of the mixtures are in it. That's how I want it to be. I'm going to make up another pan, y'all, of this. I'm just gonna let y'all know. But that's how it's gonna be, and I'm gonna put it in a black pan skillet. Okay, so in my greased up skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and add one batter of it, because you all, going by the directions of that pan, of the uh, instructions on it, 
bag, ain't your mama bag to make that cornbread? Yeah, that's that's probably for a single person. <laughs> so that's what we got right there. But I like the way that looks. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna add some more to this. Yeah, I'm gonna make up another batter right quick. Stay tuned. So this is the second batter that I made up to go over and join this one. Um, I'm trying to do this myself, y'all. Sometimes Tina helps, and then sometimes, you know, she got an important cause coming in. So, you know, I, I don't, you know, but hey. Okay, so I'm pouring it in. And I'm gonna let this do it for the cornbread. So I scraped this bowl. I'm going to place this in the oven. Move over to cutting up my vegetables. So over in this pot, I'm going to be placing the washed and drained vegetables that I just chopped over in this pan, along with, sorry, excuse me. I'm gonna be, this is where your onion soup mix come in at y'all because this is gonna give it that flavor. So I'm gonna be using one of these. Put it over in there just like that. And I'm gonna be pouring in a quart of chicken broth. And we're going to be having this set on the stove. This is going to be the seasonings going over that bread. Mm, it smells so good. On the stove she goes. And, and while that's doing that, I wanted to look over at my butternut squash and my potato. I wanted to make sure, I'm pretty sure that's not uh, ready yet, but I'm going to stick a fork in it and see. Oh, that is ready. I put my cream of celery and my cream of mushroom because I want this to cook a little bit before I add that along with the uh, cornbread. Also, you all, this water is boiling for my bonds and noodles. I'm gonna ask Tina to go ahead and pop them bonds and noodles in there. Here's my broth that's finished and put to the side. Um, and I'm going to grab my bread. And y'all, we about to get busy on this cornbread, okay? I want y'all to see how this cornbread turned out. This is how the cornbread turned out. Ain't that pretty? Look at that. Okay, get ready. Here comes the cornbread box stuff in it. Cornbread. Is that? Oh. Earlier. Ah, as I stressed earlier, this is not turkey or chicken flavor. It's a regular cornbread mix. It helps build your bread. It's just a bread replacement for you when you don't have enough cornbread. And it's got the seasoning and spices in it as well, so it helps a lot. vegetable broth and my vegetables over in here. I'm gonna take and pour it all in. Y'all ain't playing with it. I'm not gonna play with it. I want it all. If I can't have the meat, give me all my vegetables. Okay, I'm back. Um, now I'm about to um, pour over my cream of celery and cream of chicken that was cooking on the stove and pour a little bit in there. Ooh. Ain't nothing changed as far as me going in with my, my seasonings, okay? I don't be measuring. 
Scoop it this, scoop it that, scoop it this. Guess what I found you all? So I went to Myers the other day and I found Morton Salt Substitute. It's no salt. Yeah. So help yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to go in and season it with my No Salt by Morton. Salt alternative, salt alternative. Hello, hello, hello. And of course, I'm going on in with my onion powder. Y'all know, don't play. Y'all know I was coming with that onion powder. I'm going in with my garlic powder. Ain't no fault. Uh 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 uh. Don't be stingy. Give me some. Give me some. I'm going on in with some black pepper. Going on in with black pepper. I, don't, I ain't really too crazy about the pepper, but that's just me. I'm just not a pepper look. I don't think just. Okay, so the main in, uh, ingredients here to me is the sage, baby. The sage, ground sage. This is for cooking, not burning. <laughs> yeah. You little witch. It ain't, gonna, it ain't gonna get no spirits out your house. The Holy Ghost gonna get the evil spirits out. You just gonna use the sage and cook with it. That's what we gonna do. Okay. And we going on in with our poetry seasoning. And we gonna mix that on up. Smells like dressing to me. Smells like dressing to me. It looked like dressing to me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I must admit, the texture of this cornbread is, is the cornbread is good, you all. I'm not lying, but the texture is a little different. Texture is more bready, you know, than cornbreadish. You know what I'm saying? And probably because I use the almond flour in it but it looks good it's 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 dressing you know it's not that you know you can still see the meal in it but you can still see that the flowers in there as well okay and uh i can go ahead and try this i ain't got to worry about no salmonella because ain't no eggs off up over here okay and we're gonna take and we're gonna just do it like that I, I didn't even taste it. I just know my uh, season is on point. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just, what you say? I just know my season is on point. Okay. Hello. All right. It's going in the oven for, I say about, to my eyes feel like it should, but <laughs> the eyes feel like it should come out, you know, a little golden brown at the top. <clears throat> but I usually do it for about 40 to uh, 45 minutes dressing is in the oven we are going to head at our go ahead at our vegan butter earth balance butter one stick we're gonna let that melt around over in that uh pan as so and we're gonna go ahead while that's melting i think it's safe to go ahead and add your butternut squash and mm. potato that i brought to a boil you all i cut them in squares last night um i brought them to a boil today um so they could be fresh for us. that in my food processor see and it made it that much easier and since I didn't have enough time to um, take the other half out I'm gonna put this half on this side and I'm gonna go ahead and scoop the other half up in there but see how creamy that came out yeah I'm trying to make this easy on myself I'm doing this the hard way them clumps of uh, potatoes even though they're soft it took me all doggone day y'all and I ain't got time I just I just ain't got time I'm trying to make this easy you know what I mean some chunks in there mm. we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that we don't want that it's not wanted and guess what i forgot to put oh what's gonna call it in the middle oh lord jesus yeah but that's okay because it's gonna go it's gonna go ahead we would like to get the other one you want to smooth down out Puree, puree, puree. I got that sauce pureed the way I want. See how that is? Not sauce, but the butter, the squash, and the potatoes. Now I'm going to go ahead and 
pour some unsweetened cashew yogurt over or you can use almond whatever your choice is I didn't measure that no I did not because to tell you the truth I didn't see Tabitha measure it either so I'm just going by what she did I saw that amount on there um you all and also my nutrition Bragg's nutritional yeast also likes to give it a cheesy flavor so I've seen her I've seen about that much in there y'all that's how she had it and so that's what I'm doing nutritional yeast is good for you so you can put whatever how much ever okay I'm gonna go ahead and stir that around okay and then I seen her add shredded cheese Daya it's mono reject <laughs> and shred it. <laughs> Put that in there together and she stirred it around. Mm. And last, she added the noodles. Now, I don't like a lot of seasoning added to my, um, that's how that sauce is supposed to look. And she added a little vegetable broth in there to loosen it up. I seen her do about that much. Yes, honey, I'm following exactly how she did it. And she put that much in there and it looks just like hers. I ain't gonna lie, you know. I did everything with the seasonings. I'm going in with the garlic seasoning. I mean, uh, um, salt and pepper, the no salt alternative and the pepper and a little uh, Italian herbs, but I'm not gonna do any of that until I go ahead and add my shells. I let my chickpea shells kind of cook to where they were large. Are you happy now, Tina? Yes. Look at me and now. Let's go and get these wet first. And uh, this is, I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings to this, you all. Because <laughs> that's, that's the way we want it. Get into it, yo. It look good. Get into it, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm taking her out. There she is. She's golden brown. I'm sliding the mac. There's the vegan mac out the oven. Mmm, looks delicious. And here is the dressing. Hey! Now it's time for us to be honest. Huh? Hey! Alright, you all. Back for the final. So, here we go. I'm about to make up a plate. This is a scoop of this mac. And we're going to try... A scoop of this dress on. The texture. Still the same. It's my other texture. Y'all, these are my two favorite dishes. I want you all to know. Now, I am going to be doing... I am going to be doing... Uh, candy yams, but the only thing different with my candy yams, I'm not adding brown sugar. I'm going to still add the nutmeg and the cinnamon, but I'm going to add a guava instead of the, you know, because I my my secret was uh, what was it uh, Aunt Jemima, uh, no, not Aunt Jemima, Miss Butterworth, Miss Butterworth and brown sugar and butter. So that was my secret to my yams before I became vegan. But now it's gonna be my vegan butter, my my guava. And, uh, you know, my cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff. Terrell's sitting, he just came in the door and he's sitting with his, his, rubbing his hands together. But now the wait is over, you all. The final is finished. These are my two main dishes on Thanksgiving. Let me know your two main dishes on Thanksgiving. But I always, when I go back for seconds, I'm always going back for dressing and mac and cheese. Oh, and I don't like cranberry sauce. I always like to go put my yams and my sweet yams over a little bit in my, you know. Let me stop talking. But, uh, so the dressing, of course. I'm so proud of myself. I can't get over it. You know, it's just, <laughs> The only difference, you all, was the meat was removed and the egg and milk was replaced. This is still your famous. Yes, and I call my uh, dressing famous because, like I said, I put that video out two years ago and it still just smacks. It just still get hits on it. And, um, yeah, so it's famous. It's good. And I thank you all for your support. Now I'm going to taste this mac and cheese. 
from by Tabitha Brown. <laughs> Mac and cheese. Mm. Mac, mm mm. 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 Okay, you all. Y'all heard it from me. Here's a plate. You all gonna make it? I'm gonna hand it to. Oh, spoiled prep. I'm gonna just hit you like that. And I'm gonna hit you like that. And you're gonna taste it. And so we're gonna get another sound other than coming from me. Mm. Mm, so that was the mm. mac that she just tasted and said, mmm. Mm. It's dressing. And a dressing, right? Now, let me tell y'all the truth about the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is good, but you can tell it's not your regular, uh, the, che the, well, the cheeses that I use. The cheese is good. Day of cheese is good. Day of vegan cheese is good. But y'all, I use four to five different cheeses in my mac and cheese. And um, I also use evaporated milk. Um, sometimes I used to use like dairy creamer in it. So you can really taste the difference. But however, it, for it to be butternut squash, you all. Uh, one, yeah, one butternut squash cut up and one potato boiled, you know. And all the ingredients you saw, I'm not going to tell you it because I want you to watch the video. Yeah, I, it just, just just doesn't stop here. I'm gonna try to stay tuned for my um. Uh, I'm sorry. Stay tuned for my vegan avocado brownies. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.